Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well and welcome to our brand new course where we're going to be learning about LifeWire. Now this was requested by one of our users to for me to create this course. So we're going to start off with the basics uh, of LifeWire. Then we're going to build a little bit baby steps just to kind of get used to what LifeWire is and how do you work with it as the syntax more or less is built with Laravel and Laravel Blade components. All right. Now, the thing is, LifeWire is a full stack framework for Laravel that makes building dynamic interfaces simple without leaving the comfort of Laravel. Now, in a layman's language, that means LifeWire was built for Laravel, meaning in order to work with LifeWire, you need to understand the basics of Laravel. Okay. So, how do we get started with Laravel? Now, the thing is, there is two ways we can do this. Actually, more than one way, obviously. Now, you can have a standard project, meaning you can do your normal Laravel standard installation. Okay? Or the second way is you do the Laravel Jetstream installation. Okay. And then you can either choose with Jetstream, LifeWire, or Inertia. Inertia. Okay, let me just put just like one there for now. Okay, now with the inertia, you're going to use Vue.js and the Vue templating engine to actually do your things, but with LifeWire, it uses the Blade templating engine of Laravel. Now, in this case, let's say you already have a standard project because Jetstream is not recommended if you already have a project not in the beginning phase or in the later stage. So if you start off the project in Laravel in the standard installation, you can use LifeWire right there. Or if your project is in a later stage and you just want to use little parts of LifeWire, then you can do that in your standard project. But if you already have the project in advanced stage, almost finished or completed, then we don't recommend actually installing Jetstream. All right. So in this case, let's say we're going to start off with a standard project. All right, now let like quickly create that project. Now in this case, I already got the Laravel installer, so I'm just going to say Laravel new, and I'm just going to call this one uh, LifeWire. Okay, and then it's going to run through the installation process. That's the standard way. But the other way is to do it with Jetstream. You add dust test this jets what did ha what with this one happens it actually create you the authentication scaffolding as well now in this case i'm going to use the authentication scaffolding is there's a couple of things that i want to uh, in the later stage show you guys as well so i'm going to do this all right press enter now with the jet stream as you can see it will give us the inertia or it give us the live wire option in my case we're going to choose the live wire option all right do your application going to use teams in this case i'm just going to say no okay then it's going to run and it actually does the installation all right so i'll see you after this all right so that's all done so it finished up the installation now the next part is obviously to run the npm run dev and npm install all right so let me do that as well all right so that's the laugh wire way of the jetstream way of doing it now the next thing is i'm actually going to install the standard version of laravel then i want to show you how to install laugh wire on the standard version all right so let me do that as well so in this case, I'm just going to create a new Laravel project. So Laravel new, and I'm just going to call this one standard. Okay. I'm just going to quickly install that, and I'll see you afterwards. All right, so that's all done. So what I want to do now is I want to just CD into the standard project. All right, so now I'm in my standard application right here. And, okay. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to open it in it's a separate Visual Studio Code window. Let me do that quickly. All right, so now I've got that standard one open. Now, in order to install LifeWire, let's say you already built it up this project. Now, and you want to use LifeWire just 
not the whole application, but just certain parts of the application, or you can put it in um, your, most of your code, use LiveWire. I'm not saying you can. Right, but for argument's sake, let's say you just want to use part of your application, you want to install a little bit of Live, or use a little bit of LiveWire. Now, in order to install LiveWire on this application, we just open up our terminal, and we're going to do Composer Require LiveWire forward slash life wire. All right. This right here. Now let's go to the documentation if you want to just follow along. All right, so you go to laravellifewire.com, you will see this right here. Let me just make it a little bit bigger. You go to the docs. Then you will see you will have a quick start right here. Install installation of LifeWire, you go to Composer Require live wire right here you copy that and you paste it in and you press enter all right so now live wire will get installed in our application and as you can see we're using live wire 2.5 so yours might be a later version all right so now we all got live wire installed everything is working all right but with the jet stream installation the live wire as we did the dash dash jet it installs the live wire automatically before us. Right now, let's go to our resources views. Okay, let's say our welcome view right here. Now, in order to make use of live wire, we need to bring in two components. Okay. We need to, the first one is live wire. The, since we're using Laravel 8.5, it's anything above 7, we can use the tag syntax like this. But if you're using anything less, uh, then you use the blade at syntax like LifeWire like this. Okay. But in our case, we're using the uh, Laravel 8.5. Yours might be a little bit later. So in this one, we can just add the styles like this. Okay. This is in our head section. As you can see right there. We include that in our head section. And just before our ending body tag, let's go down there. Just before our ending body tag right here, we add the live wire scopes like this. All right, so now live wire is installed in our standard application. All right, so that's how you do it. So I'm not going to be working on our standard application. We're going to be working mostly in our jet stream because I want to. Since it's new, uh, not new anymore, but it's still new to some, but we're still going to work with a couple of things in the Jetstream installation with LifeWire. Because my recommendation is if you're going to use LifeWire, do it with the Jetstream installation, and then you have your all scaffolding and you've got LifeWire installed, and everything is just out of the box ready for you to work and build modern applications. Right, so that's kind of how you set up in a standard application. But I'm not going to be working on this one. I'm going to use the LifeWire one where we did the Jetstream installation. All right, so now this is the one where we you did the Jetstream installation. And if we go to Resources, Views right here, Layouts, you'll see we have an app layout. This is the one. As you can see, it already includes the Blade Syntax, uh, LifeWire styles for us right there, and at the footer, LifeWire the scripts right there. Right with the guest layout, as you can see, it didn't include it right there because it's not making use of LifeWire. All right, but what we can do is we can actually include it right here with the new tag syntax. Okay, so in this case, it's LifeWire styles. And just before the end, to actually do that, before the end, we can add actually the LifeWire scopes like this. All right, so now we installed LifeWire and we're ready to go. All right, so in the next one, we're going to be learn how to ma actually make an, a, com a component and how to actually use LifeWire. All right, thank you guys for watching. And if you like the video, please give it a like. We still continue with our forum series where we actually made use of LifeWire in several uh, instances. But in this case, we're just going to be learning mainly about LifeWire itself. 
All right, thank you guys for watching. And if you like the video, please give it a like. If you don't, please give it a dislike. If you have any suggestions on what I must do you in this course, what I must actually do with LiveWire, please leave them for me in the comment section and I'll see if it's an option that I can add to the series. All right, thank you guys and see you in the next one. Goodbye.